yeah, welcome back. Um, I decided, like, uh, kind of let you know how wild sometimes my life is. Now, you think your life sometimes is magical? Well, yeah, that could be true. To the point that it's your life. No one knows your life but you. And that's the way it should always be. You know your life before you know others' lives. <clears throat> and may you know your family before you know other lives, too. And, uh, heh. here we go. You aren't crazy. This has only happened since December 6th. December 6th, okay? Of 2021. And we are looking at uh, January uh, 18th in just a few hours, um, 2022. So uh, a little over a month, just about. And here we go. Um... Well, that morning started out pretty normal. I got up, dressed normally. I got out of my bed with uh, Michelle. And, uh, or maybe I slept on the couch that night. I can't remember. I think I had, might have slept on the couch that night because I had a late night gaming night with um, Twiggy. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Ah, no big deal. I got up anyway. And I prepared myself to go to court to see what exactly was going to happen with the Sheila Acosta case. To see if there was anything mentioned there that would help my legal case going on um, at the present time. You want to know more about that? There is some that will be released now. Others not released until after it's all over and said done with. Don't want to talk the wrong talk or walk the wrong walk. I don't know. Lawyers know it. We don't. There are translators. Don't talk to a cop without your translator unless you're a very good translator of your own. <clears throat> Watch some of my other comical things on that one. But, um... The main point is, I got ready for it. It was supposed to have been, if I remember right, like something like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I did some of my own things. I checked in um, with the different places I would check in, get like extra clothes or extra hands up, not hands out necessarily. And, um, what came about was the most wildest ride, you know, puts Mr. Toad's wild ride to shame. Even back then it would have, actually, <clears throat> this tale probably would have gave people back then a nightmare of horror stories. Uh, I went into the courtroom, uh, after waiting a long time. Um, and Sheila Costa went over to her little spot over there, and two officers came into the courtroom. Pro I figured probably because of the uh, restraining order. Said they never done that before when they held one of these. Well, this was actually the first time that they actually held an open court one. Uh, that's what made me so curious about making sure that I went down to see if there was anything said in a legal matter that I could report back to my attorney. <clears throat> and uh, she had her defense attorney, uh, Shannon R. Douglas. And then there was a different um, district attorney. But the district attorney still knew the case and still knew everything that was going on. 
Uh, and then there was uh, the judge, which was Judge Pellegrini. Uh, she resided over the whole matter. And they went to the chambers. They left the left the area, went to the chambers. I left, too, because I didn't want to want to be in the same area, have some kind of problem with them thinking her and I were communicating or some bull crap. I didn't need no more uh, drama. I didn't need no more problems. My life was coming wrapped up good. I was handling legal cases excellently. Um, <clears throat> just one. So I... I stepped out, I waited in the one alleyway, walked up around, down, up around, waiting for everybody that went to the judges' chambers to go back into the courtroom, which I found a little odd anyway, because if there was something to be talked about, why wouldn't they talk about it in front of uh, Miss Acosta after they had already called session? And that I can understand if there was some kind of problem with the um, <clears throat> people. But uh, afterwards, why do it then? I was weird. But I waited. And then when they went back in, I went back in to see what was going to go happen. <sighs> Next thing before I could even process most of what was going on what I did get is that they were going to arrest Sheila Acosta take her into custody and and take her to some kind of test at the time later I found out that it was to take her to New Oregon State Hospital for evaluation uh, of aid and assist a pretty typical thing that they, they're doing now, it seems like, on a regular basis, uh, whenever the mentality is put in question, <clears throat> which in some aspects is good because a lot of people just don't know what lowering, lowering is, for starters. Um, but... It's what perspired next, or took place next, however you want to put it. You put your own words in there. I, I'm just telling the story. And I know you'll probably retell it. Judge Pellegrini, uh, well, actually, when something like the dis. The, the, all of them would go blah, 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 real fast. And then Judge Pellegrini said. <coughs> That Sheila Acosta thinks are going to be turned over to me. And I was like, wh what? Right. Uh, and as fast as I could try to process this, because this is totally unexpected. There is... There was... Uh, Court-ordered, no-contact orders put in place. Uh, at least at that time, but, and on top of it, 